needed rescue my sin was heavy but chains break at the weight of your glory i needed shelter i was an orphan now you call me a citizen of
sing that out one more time. When he shall come. When he shall come with trumpet sounds. Oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone. Come on. Faultless I stand before the throne. Sing it out one more time. Put your hands together. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone. God bless us.
deserve the glory, Jesus. You deserve it. Mm. this morning even if you don't sing just ask the Lord to put a new song in you because he has just revealed himself as the Lord of hosts the one that is worshipped day and night 24-7 hey so I just want you to put a song on your lips because this is not a moment to just sit and receive but it's a moment to Somebody say we're going higher. Just a moment ago, I heard everything get louder. Yes. I mean, everything got a lot louder. It was as if it was amplified in my spirit. And I was hearing it through my spiritual ears, but it sounded louder to my natural mind. And then suddenly I realized that we pierced through a portal in the spirit into heavenly places. And I began to look in the spirit. See, because you got to look. You can't just be passive in the presence of God. You gotta look and you gotta keep on looking. And I literally saw a window of heaven opening and angels coming through the windows. And then I saw something even better. The angels were carrying gifts of glory. The angels were carrying gifts of glory. And the Lord would say to you today, You've stepped in to a new glory. You've come up to a new glory. So come on, somebody, just receive the glorious gifts of the angels of heaven which are ascending and descending on Jesus today. Come on, let's press it deeper. Angels come up. Angels come up. 
And as you lift your hands this morning, you're going to feel the atmosphere of heaven come upon you. And <laughs> the atmosphere of heaven, because of the hearts that are willing this morning to move with him, move with him, oh. angels descending. just keep worshiping him he deserves the glory worship brings you into a place in God that you can get to no other way prayer will take you to certain places in God praise will take you to certain places in God but Ruth Ward Heflin she used to say this praise until the worship comes and then you don't stop there because you're selling yourself short you 
worship until the glory comes. But then you don't stop there because when the glory comes, ah, when the glory comes, you stand in the glory if you can. When the Israelites finished building the temple, the Bible says that the glory of the Lord, ha, ah, filled the temple and the priests, the ministers could not even stand on their feet. This man of God right here on his knees, he is in the glory. He is unaware of anything and everything around him. He doesn't care. That's what happens when you experience, listen, when you embrace the glory. There's just something about it. There's just something about it. There's something about the blood of Jesus. I believe God wants to heal some people this morning. I believe he wants to heal you this morning. Jesus is here. The healer is here. Yeah. I said the healer is in the house. You're in the glory. Friday morning on my prayer broadcast, I got caught up in the spirit. I was, I was just trying to do announcements. <laughs> you ever had that happen and all of a sudden I got caught up in the spirit I'm like what's going on the Lord said don't you remember I told you I wanted you to pray for healing for the people today I said oh sorry Lord I forgot and I began to release the healing anointing you know people are getting healed left and right because there's no distance in the spirit those of you watching online I said there's no distance in the spirit so if you need healing in your body today I want you to come forward right now don't delay the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus look at all these people that need healing do you believe that was God wanting him to, wanting oh Jesus wanting me to make that altar call the rest of you stay in a worshipful attitude just stay in a worshipful attitude I got a word for you too you should be glad you don't need healing some of you are like well I want you to pray for me. Well, just hold on. You should be glad you don't need healing. I got something else for you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. There's healing in the blood. By his stripes, you were healed. And if you were healed, then you are healed. Look at all these people. Look at all these healed people. Yes. <laughs> Look at all these healed people. Heal people. Listen, I'm going to pray and I'm going to lay hands on you. I'm not going to spend 20 minutes with each of you because I don't have to, but I'm going to linger long enough until I know you've received the anointing. You understand? Some people can receive quickly. Yeah. Other people, you just got to... You just got to linger for a minute. I'm going to preach the word. I know you came to hear the word, but you should have come to meet the spirit too. You can't come to Awakening House of Prayer and not meet the spirit of God. I'm not even going to ask you what your issue is. Because Jesus knows. I'm not going to ask you. What I am going to ask you to do is receive. That means don't be praying in the spirit when I pray and lay hands on you. Because when you're pouring out, you can't receive right so don't pray in the, I know we all do that don't pray in the spirit just receive I'm gonna ask you this those of you that have come up for healing do you have faith that God can heal you are you sure do all the rest of you that are interceding in the congregation for these ones do you have faith do you believe God can heal them amen you all back there you worship and you pray in the spirit the ones that are in the congregation those of you who need healing Get in receiving mode. That means either hands up or hands out. Like this or like this. Don't low, let me come and do like this means you're not receiving. <laughs> All right? I have to teach sometimes because we don't know what people know. So, Father, I thank you that you are the healer. And no one will touch your glory. <laughs> no one will touch your glory. But you have created through your minstrels a glory atmosphere so that you could touch them in a way that only you can. So as I lay my hands on them, God, 
let my faith connect with theirs so that heaven can come down into their bodies and restore in Jesus name all right here we go
talking about healing. Some of them are miracles and they happen instantly. And some of them are progressively. That's why they're called gifts of healing. So if you're walking away and you're like, I don't feel different, the devil's a liar. Yeah. That doesn't mean you didn't receive something. You've got to understand how the enemy works. He works on your mind. So if you've already gone back to your seat and you've said to yourself, well, nothing happened. I'm disappointed and that didn't work. Then come back up here because you're going to do it right this time. You have to understand that when God's power is released into your body, something changed. Something's happening. It doesn't mean that you immediately see it. That's a miracle. Some of you that are in the congregation that were prayed for, you just start trying to do something you couldn't do before. You need to move how you couldn't move before. You need to, some of you bend down and touch your toes if you couldn't do that before. That's part of the step of faith in healing. Yes. Is to trust God that, hey, I've got an ability that was hindered by the enemy, but now I've been set free by the power, the healing power of God. Amen. So those of you that came up, begin to check your body because some of you need to testify to the power of God so that others' strength will be, faith will be strengthened. Some of you have stronger faith than others. That's because you've walked with the Lord longer and you've been through more things. So let's just keep going. We've got a few more. Yes. shaky and tremory. Uh, Ivy paid for me, but I, f I felt 